what is up you guys and happy friday today is friday and it is about almost six o'clock um i am just now getting myself together and dressed and i am on my way to the gym um i also have a target order that i need to pick up so that is also on the list and i think that's it um, I placed a drive up order and I think I included a pizza in there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a bake another bakeable pizza tonight. <laughs> the hardest time adjusting to the time like, I feel like I'm sneaking out in the middle of the night <laughs> and happy Saturday. Today is Saturday and it is 12 o'clock noon. I am sitting out front of my mom's doctor's appointment. She had a doctor's appointment today. So I came up um, to take her. Uh, so since I had to come up and take her, she's actually just going to come back with us um, because Thanksgiving is this month and um, it makes no sense to come back like next weekend as well so she'll be coming back down with me and p and that's what we're up to today so um yeah we're getting this doctor visit out of the way first and then we will be heading back home it's like i haven't been out this way in so long so many things have changed i am mind blown they're building things everywhere tearing things down it's so cool to see like wow um yeah back home is not is not the same anymore at all and that's that's exciting um me and p just got back from a walk that's why she's like exhausted we walked around the building um i've been dying to do that my mom's been going to this doctor for forever and i never went through the back and I always wanted to see what was back there. And so I think there's a school there. It looks like an elementary school. And there's a park. But I couldn't figure out how to get to the park. Because there's so much fencing. So 
we just settled for a nice walk around the building which is actually longer than I thought it was <laughs> I worked out last night and I am super sore so but that was a nice walk she's exhausted she looks like she wants to go again and depending on how long my mom is actually gonna be in here I think she said there's like two people ahead of her <laughs> we actually might go for another quick walk around before we head back so yeah it is a beautiful fall day today um, the Sun is shining it's real brisk it's not cold but it's cool <coughs> I ain't been taking no time off, y'all. So I have all this time that I have to spend before the end of the year or I'm going to lose it. So I think I had about 60 hours, 64 hours that I had to sprinkle over the next two months. So <clears throat> that was interesting, but I'm not complaining. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, that usually never happens for me <laughs> at a job. I'm usually straight out of PTO. Ain't got no more sick time. I mess. It's, it's ghetto out here. So, that, but it's really nice to have all this time off. Um, so we'll see what I get into. I haven't really put much thought into it because it's kind of like rushed, you know. But that's fine because I ain't got no problem staying home, honey. When you stay home, you don't spend no money. Right, P? We got to gear up for the holidays, y'all. I'm ready to start Christmas shopping. I'm waiting on some Black Friday deals, which have been dropping all month. All month long, these Black Friday deals are dropping in different places. And so I'm really excited to see um, what I can grab uh, as some really good Christmas gifts. But yeah. I woke up with a lot of energy. I went to bed super late. Like I said, I worked out last night. Um, I went to the gym and then I went to Target to do a pickup order, a quick pickup order. Um, I stayed in the gym a lot longer than I expected because they have changed my gym up so much. Like. I'm talking where the machines are located, the kinds of machines that we had. Like, I have to get used to this place all over again, and it's tough. I can't stand it. I don't like that they scrambled up the place. Um, really pissed off about my leg press. <laughs> like, got me ready to switch gyms or upgrade my membership so that i could go to multiple locations but first i have to see like where those locations are because the location that i go to is literally five minutes away from my house like you can't beat that who told y'all to change up the place but all the machines are brand new though everything is brand new and it's like i was doing numbers in the old machines that i can't touch on these new machines like so i don't know if they have to be broken i don't know if the old ones wasn't right i don't know i am happy though that we have some new stuff but dang man i gotta get used to it all over again i'm thinking about going again tonight depending on you know how the day goes and how i feel when i get back home but yeah i really would like to go tonight because um I have to get used to it because if I do not force myself to get used to it I'm like no longer gonna want to go to the gym and then I'm not gonna be consistent with it and I don't want to fall off but that shit threw me off so bad so like I was saying I went to the gym last night and then I did my target pickup and then by the time I got home it was like late it was like 10 30 um, I looked at the clock it was like 10 48 and I'm like where did the day go like i just got off work and all i did was go to the gym and go to target <sighs> time is flying y'all and i can't understand it like i can't keep up with it i can't i just can't like time is flying i cannot believe we are in the last two months of the year i cannot believe my christmas tree has to go up in two weeks what is going on but here we are and yeah so 
I went to bed super late. Is basically what I'm saying. And my mom had to be at her appointment at 12 o'clock. And it takes me two hours to get here. So I was like, alright, I'm just going to leave at 8, 9, 10. Get there by like 10 o'clock or whatever. And, you know, I have to load up the car with her things. Help her get her stuff together. And then we had to come out here to her doctor's appointment. I was trying to make it to the post office by 12 o'clock. But I think that they are observing Veterans Day today um so i cannot get my package out but like i said i'm off on monday so that'll get done really excited about that but yeah it's a bummer that i can't get this package out that pisses me off who told y'all to close up y'all couldn't do these little punk four hours that y'all be doing from 8 to 12 just wait and just wait and I'm actually kind of hungry. Yeah, y'all, we secured the case, the crepe case. I'm so excited. Um, this is the first time I ever got a crepe case before. These are a lot of burgers, y'all. Um, I accidentally ordered the 20 count. So we're going to be eating on that for quite a long time. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Monday, November the 13th. The time is now 10.19 and I am getting myself ready to go to the gym. Um, I have a couple more errands that I have to run. I also have to go to the post office and drop off a couple orders and all that stuff. So yeah, I got big plans for the day. I'm so excited to be off. <laughs> Right now, I'm just trying to find um, a top to wear. I have my camo pants on. I mean, I think, is this the shirt? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, this is the shirt that I wear. Um, it's big, it's oversized, it's flowy. You know, so it's very stretchy. I love this shirt. Um, but for my cardio, what I wanted to do was skip the treadmill and actually go to the park because now with the seasons changing, time changing, by the time I get out of work, it's already dark, you know, so going to the park is like up for me unless I go on the weekends and then my weekends are busy and you see the cycle. Is jacked up is what it is. What's up, y'all? So I am finally out of the house. Um, my first stop is going to be the post office. The sun is blazing this morning. to get out but anyways <laughs> yeah so my first stop is going to be the post office real quick to drop off these orders I tried to get this done on Saturday but Saturday the post offices were um, observing Veterans Day so I couldn't y'all so I have just pulled up to the park and I'm trying to get myself together this past Friday when I was at the gym I normally don't take my phone out of my belt um, I play like serious radio or whatever and I have my airpods on and I just go you know I don't have to worry about changing the song um, and I listen to The Heat, Just Music. Yeah, so I was vibing, you know, whatever. And I pulled my phone out for whatever reason. And, you know, I didn't put it back. I just, you know, kept it out. 
So I went to the pull down machine, which I normally never get a chance to get to because all the juice heads be over there. But I like to use the cable machine and I like to do like my pull downs for my arms. And I was so a geek to get over there. So I got over there. I did my, my sets or whatever like that. And I was spent. Like I was kind of disappointed um, that I couldn't do more because I usually like to do like a lot more. But it was really hurting. Like I was getting really tight really fast, which is I don't know why that frustrated me. But it did. I just felt like um, I couldn't do much as I used to. And so I snatched up my water bottle and I walked off leaving my phone didn't even realize i left my phone there so i move on to the next machine and i'm now on the calf machine and um i was adjusting the seat and to adjust the seat you have to pull the knob the knob had some grease on it because i guess they went through all the machines or whatever and greased them up and stuff like that um as well so i had like this lump of grease on my fingers so i'm like damn so i had to go to a station real quick grab some paper towel and I'm there cleaning my hand off and this little short girl walks up to me and um, where's my phone this short girl walks up to me and I'm looking this way and she's like right here facing me and I'm looking at her like and she's there like and then the screen comes on like this and I'm looking at myself when I tell you my stomach hit the floor oh my god i just kept thanking her over and over and over i said girl thank you i said thank you so much girl you fucking saved me yo you a real one for that thank you so much she was like i got you girl don't worry i was like and then she came up to me like a little sister like girl it was so cute <laughs> yeah so i can't wait to see her again in the gym too like everybody that has just been really sweet and blessing me like i want to return the favor in some way like i don't know how but i'm gonna figure it out i think i've seen her there before at the gym so i got you sis thank you for looking out for me you saved me y'all i would have been so fucking sick ah losing my phone on a friday night i would have been oh no good no good but anyways well, I remember to bring a protein bar with me. So this is the protein bar that I will be having when I finish my walk. This is a Quest bar. I used to love these things. Um, 21 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, and 4 net carbs. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go to Starbucks as well after my workout, but I'm not sure. It all depends, y'all. I'm really trying to cram so much into this day off. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, it's crazy being off on a Monday. And it's like I'm trying to cram so much into this day. I kind of feel like um, I've been hitting a couple roadblocks. Like I set out to do certain things. I plan certain things certain ways. And I feel like I'm being rerouted. Um, normally things like that would frustrate me. But I'm learning to understand that sometimes God is going to reroute you um, to protect you, to save you, to um, make you avoid certain things he doesn't want you to face or deal with. So I'm going with it. I'm not going to get frustrated. You know, I'm here at the park first instead of the gym first when I was going to go to the gym, leave the gym and come to the park. It's a flip. Um, I ran into a whole bunch of stuff trying to get out the house this morning. Like, it's just been, um, enough to drive you crazy. But again, I am not going to let it frustrate me. I'm going to continue on with my day off. I'm really excited to have it. I'm grateful for it. And I'm going to spend it the way that I want to spend it. Uh, leaving the house this morning, y'all, my garage door opener, I had to press this thing like, more than one time to get it to open i thought it wasn't going to open and let me out i kind of freaked out a little bit um but it did open i got the car out and then when i went to close it i had to hello like push it a few times so i don't know what's going on with this i'm hoping that it's the battery in the garage door opener so i think i'm gonna have to go to home depot today 
to see about getting um, the battery changed because I don't even know how to open the damn thing to see what type of battery it takes. So hopefully somebody up in there can help me. That was not on my list of things to do today, but instead of letting it frustrate me, I'm going to handle it because you have the time to. Like, what are you so in a rush for? Like, I have to learn patience. I have to learn to take my time. I have to learn to calm down. Um, this was something that I was practicing over the summer um, when, like, I had time to come to the park. The park is, it's like my second happy place. The beach is always going to be my first choice, my first happy place. But when I cannot get to the beach, a beautiful park, it definitely does it for me. So I like to walk. I like to clear my mind. I like to think about things. Um, do some planning that way. A lot of people like to sit in front of a planner and a calendar and I like to walk and talk and think and listen to music and that's just what helps me um, get it all out, you know. So I haven't been able to do this in a long time because like I said, you know, the times have been changing. It's been getting so dark so fast and it's like by the time I get out of work, it's, it feels like night night time, you know, so I'm happy to be here y'all. I'm soaking in the sunshine I'm gonna be here for a minute too <laughs> Which I knew I would be but I'm just hoping that after this I still have some energy For the gym, but if not, you know, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it If I don't have it, I just don't have it I'm not gonna bring my sweater because I already know that I am going to be so hot and sweaty It's not gonna make any sense. So I'm going to leave the sweater. I'm going to hop out this car right now. And I'm going to get this workout in. Um, good thing I didn't drink too much of my pre-workout. But I'm going to have a little bit of it to help me <laughs> get through here. Y'all, it is so beautiful out here. Like, I'm going to show y'all a little bit of the scenery. The trees are so orange and yellow. And, oh my God, reds. Let me show y'all a little bit. Y'all, it is super cold. I'm bugging for thinking I could come out without my sweater. <laughs> walk it was so nice and so peaceful I have to go to the Home Depot like I was telling y'all earlier for my garage door opener to see if they can help me with that and that's like right by my gym 
Okay, y'all, so I am back in the car now. That was a successful trip. This really nice guy at the key center, um, I was directed to go to the place where they cut keys, and uh, he was able to use his little screwdriver thingy, and he cracked it open and changed out the battery for me, so that is taken care of. I feel so much better about that. That was simple and easy, and it was like seven bucks for two batteries. I am here pulling up at the gym, and although I did not feel like going, y'all, I'm gonna go. I am gonna go, and I'm going to do what I set out to do today like I said like I said it may not be going in the order that I needed to go but it's gonna happen period so I'm back home freshly showered and uh, wrapping up my hair right now I've been drinking my protein shake this is the one that I have now on hand This one's good. Um, and then I also still have my Quest bar from earlier that I did not eat. But I'm actually gonna eat this too. Anyways, I gotta start thinking about what I'm gonna make for dinner. I was thinking maybe lasagna soup. Lasagna soup sounds real good. Um, I think I have all the ingredients to make that. Right here, and I still have some pasta left over from the last time that I made it. Oh, y'all, it was so good. And my mother wasn't here, of course. Every time I make something real good, nobody's here to eat it. So, yeah, this is the go. I think we're gonna have lasagna soup for dinner, y'all. Uh -huh. 